how F1 teams may be using porpoising problems to close the gap. The Azerbaijan Grand Prix had plenty of things to talk about, what with both Ferrari cars not finishing the race due to reliability issues, sad mat noises, but also with the Baku City circuit and its big old straights and bumps all the way around causing porpoising to make a huge comeback and become the centre of attention all weekend long. Let's get something straight first and foremost. The porpoising problem is only an issue because some F1 teams cannot find a way to produce lots of downforce without running the car so low to the ground that it causes the bouncing. So there is a balancing act between driver comfort and ultimate lap time. Of course, both the team and driver want to have the fastest package available to compete near the front. But we saw in Baku this weekend that maybe some teams, Mercedes probably being number one, took things a little too far with the car setup, especially with Lewis Hamilton. Lewis said at around half race distance that he was in pain from the porpoising and we even saw him really struggle to get out of the car after the race. He even described the Azerbaijan Grand Prix as the most painful race he's experienced with the car bouncing all over the place at extremely high speeds. It does pose the question though, is he directing these concerns over to the FIA? Because it may well fall on deaf ears considering F1 teams can tune porpoising out of the car. They just choose not to because it's slower. The lower the car is to the ground, the more downforce it can produce with the use of ground effect. I for one highly doubt the FIA will step in to change anything because it's the team's choice to have the car's porpoise as much as they do and introducing anything now would only help the teams that were unable to find a solution to the problem. Is that fair? Let me know in the comments right now. That being said, a lot of F1 drivers and team principals have spoken up about the issue of porpoising and some of them are uniting against it. Even before Baku there were problems for some drivers, Sainz in Spain said there were some pains in his neck and back, Magnussen after Monaco had nerve pain in his arm and jaw. Fast forward to this weekend and there were many more complaints. George Russell, Hamilton's teammate, told Sky Sports, I was really happy to see the race come to a close because it was just smashing the ground every single corner on every single lap for over an hour and a half. Meanwhile, Toto Wolff even went as far as saying to the race that Hamilton could miss the next event in Canada because the problems aren't muscular, they go properly into the spine and can have some consequences. Now, I'm not arguing against what they're saying, it's clear to see that Merck have problems, but I have to repeat again, they can tune this out of the car, but they don't want to due to it giving a drop in performance. Christian Horner seems to be on the same page because he said that he believes other team principals have told their drivers to kick up a bit of a fuss about their car's ride quality in an effort to force the FIA to level the playing field. Although I'm not massively against the whole field being leveled out, I still don't think it would be fair. Daniel Ricciardo had an interesting point of view after the race where even though the McLaren has suffered from porpoising probably the least, he said that he felt genuinely rattled. So yeah, I'm definitely going to help out when people talk about it. It's a hot topic of debate. Are Red Bull saying it's not a problem because they know if something is introduced, it will most likely hinder them? Or are some of the other teams who are struggling seeing this as an opportunity to get closer to the front? That's down to a matter of opinion. There you have it, a look into the porpoising problems this weekend. Which side are you on? Introduce changes for a safer ride for everyone, or should some of the teams just change their car to make them slower but bounce less? Let us know in the comment section below.